right in front of you is the all new TradingView ETF screener. You can sort, filter, dive in, study, or look at ETFs from all over the world covering different asset classes. It's all available to you here. We just clicked through a few key metrics, but hold on a second because we went a little bit too fast. Let's start over. Let's go to tradingview.com and give you the full walkthrough start to finish. Now, for all of you new investors and traders or those just getting to tradingview.com, go up to products, move your mouse down to screeners, find ETF. That means it's an ETF screener. Go ahead and click. And just like that, the ETF screener will appear before you. Now we're going to start from the top here and work our way down. We're going to start with the big picture items, the basics, and get more and more detailed. So get your notepads out, get comfortable, get ready, because by the end of this video, you will be able to screen for ETFs in a matter of minutes, really. So first of all, we're going to click this drop down. Pay attention to the ETF screener drop down at the top, because this is really where a lot of important things happen. Everything that we do here today in this video can be saved. Yep, that's right. We're going to put a lot of work into making a highly custom screen for ETFs. We'll be able to click the save button. It will be saved to our account forever. Also, you can export your screen results in case you need to do some more advanced analysis elsewhere or you just want to have that offline data that's available to you. You can also quickly, quickly create multiple different screens by clicking create new screen. That means you could have one screen called, uh, you know, uh, uh, dividend ETFs and another one called broad market ETFs and you can click between them at ease. Also, you have popular screens here as well. This is a list that you can access in a simple click. For starters, this says largest AUM. That means assets under management. So we go ahead and we click that. And just like that, we've actually just created our first ever screen because we now have a largest AUM screen up. We have US markets selected. This is only ETFs in the US. We have assets under management greater than 1 billion. We have 722 ETFs listed, and we can scroll down to see all of these ETFs. In addition, we can actually add more filters to this screen to narrow it down. So this says 722. 722. Why don't we change this up a little bit? And how about we focus on the asset class at first? How about equity only? We only want equity ETFs or stocks. Now we're down to 514. What do you say that we also change it up one more time and perhaps add the fact that we need a dividend yield, meaning it actually pays a dividend and it pays more than 2% as yield to fund holders. We click 2% and above. Now we're down to 190 symbols. So you can see here we are filtering and we are narrowing down our results to find the ETF for us. How about expense ratio? How much are they charging us to hold the ETF? Can we find one between 0% and 0.2%? Let's find out. Now we're down to 71 symbols. Should we narrow this down even more? Well, there are tons of options for us to continue to narrow it down, including strategies or management style or net, net asset value total returns, all of this here is available to us for selection. And you can see here, it says OM, and we have the OM right now sorted by largest OM to smallest OM. And in addition, we even have expense ratio. So if we do want to see what the least or most expensive ETFs are in this list, we can sort by that as well. So you may be learning something quite new actually, which is that this ETF has a very small expense ratio. That's how much they're charging you just for holding the fund. And that is always a good thing. Lower expenses, lower commissions, that is money back to you. So ladies and gentlemen, you've just learned the basics of filtering down your ETF screener using these buttons here at the top. But we're also not done yet because there's a plus button here and a reset all button. Now we're going to reset all because we want to start from the top and we actually want to click create new screen. We don't want to save that. This is going to be called YouTube ETF screen example. We're just making this ETF as an example. It's for all of you watching on YouTube. By the time you're done watching this video, now you have an example to work with. 
YouTube ETF screen example, we have nothing selected up here at the top. Let's start with asset class because this is the asset class that the ETF focuses on. Why don't we do things a little differently this time and look for commodity ETFs? What, what ETFs hold gold or silver or copper? Let's focus on that. Next up, we do have the focus here. We can narrow it down even more based on highly specific topics. Now, the one thing about this is that if we do click this, it's really going to get narrow and we may shrink this list rather quick from 104 to only a handful or zero. Now, Palladium is a pretty rare metal on this planet. Let's go ahead and click Palladium and see what happens. We've got one Palladium ETF. Well, we just learned something new as well. There's our one Palladium ETF for us to look at. How about we do something a little larger like silver? Okay, now we've got six symbols, meaning in the U.S., Focusing on commodities and only on silver, we've got six ETFs appearing before our eyes. We probably don't need to narrow this down much more, but there is one more important thing, and that is the fact that we don't want to pay a ton of expenses to hold this ETF in, symbol, in, in silver. So let's, of course, do 0.5% and below. So we click. We're down to two. We've got SLV and SIVR. We have now just located two silver ETFs using these filters. Remember, we went from a few hundred symbols down to two thanks to these filters. And if we think we are missing a filter, we can click the plus button and we've got tons of more information and data here to add to our filters. So this is an extremely important tool in case you think something is missing up here. There might be something entirely different that you're looking for. Well, in that case, it's likely that you can add a filter to narrow this number, number down even more by clicking the plus symbol here and then going through these options or even just searching for a specific topic. We type in dividend, check it out. We've got more dividend filters to add. Okay, continuing now to work our way down, we've got our two ETFs here. Probably one of the more important features you should know about is the capability to screen while in chart view. Yep, that's right. Maybe expense ratio doesn't matter to you as much as the actual chart because you're a technical investor or trader. We click reset. Now, all of the funds with high expense ratios are still listed. And what's particularly amazing is we have a chart view of these funds and we can change the time frame as well, year to date or one year. Now, here's an interesting concept to work through. Let's do year to date since the start of the year. Are any of the ETFs up? Well, how interesting is that? ZSL, which is a silver ETF that appeared on our screen is up. Meanwhile, every other silver ETF is down. We can do that just by using this chart view. What's going on with this ETF? Let's look into it a little further. And that's where these key detail tabs come into even more importance because what they give you is another look at the six symbols that you filtered down to. We went from 100 to about six, and now we can really dive into other topics related to the ETFs on this list. If we click performance, we can gauge all the performance. Here's ZCL. Remember, this one is green year to, was green year today, up 12%. How cool is that? Well, everything else is red. Let's learn more about ZCL. Okay, we click fund flows. What's particularly fascinating is over the last three months, they have gained 11 million in fund flows, five years, 24 million, but there's also some red here on other time frames. So that's rather interesting. There must be something else going on here. We can look at dividends. It doesn't pay a dividend. We can look at net asset value performance. We can also check out the holdings. So we could kind of feel for what type of fund we're looking at. And ladies and gentlemen, well, this explains it. It's an inverse ETF two times. So it's got a really specific and unique trading style that's different than these other non-leveraged ETFs like SLV. See here, leverage, inverse two times. So that explains why it's up on the year, why the rest are not. This type of thinking, this type of process, this type of research, you can do all of this with these ETFs using all of these features available to you. So you can see here it says risk, Beta, one year, beta, three years, beta, five years. 
volatility. It's all available to you. You can even get a technical look to ensure that you really understand some of the key technical ratings about these ETFs. Now, we're not done yet because, ladies and gentlemen, there's even more you can do with these ETF screener tools. And that is the fact that you can create your own custom column as well. And of course, you can drag and move around any of these columns. Maybe you are a trader or investor who prefers to look at things in a really simplistic method. And all you want is price, OM, expense ratio, and uh, focus just to confirm that it actually is on the focus that you had. Well, we can right click and remove all of these other columns that don't mean anything to us and remove and remove and remove. You can even see now here it says custom. Look what we've done. We've created our very own columns for this exact screen. And if we wanted to add more to this column, we can click the plus button to add specific details. So if we went to say, how about technicals? And maybe there's a reason why we're interested in understanding the simple moving average. And maybe we prefer a 50 day moving average. We click apply. We can also now add the 50 day moving average. Talk about creating a super custom column setup. We just added 50 day moving average. In addition, you can refresh these lists at any point to have the data update if you're looking for real time trading. And you can do the default sorting option as well. Well, that is the end of our video because once you found the symbol that's of interest to you, you can click it just like that. You will end up on the symbol page with, with even more data and details. Scroll down, you'll see all of this news, ideas, technicals, content coming from other traders, and of course, our favorite see on super charts button, which now brings you to the exact chart. You did all that hard work, all that screening, all that filtering, and you clicked through, you found the ETF you wanted, and now the chart is right here before your eyes. Thanks so much for watching. Please leave any questions or comments below.